Okay, so now we're going to do another photoelectric example. And in this case, we are looking for a threshold wavelength. And what that is, is the longest wavelength that has barely enough energy to be able to eject electrons from a particular metal. Now in this case we have potassium metal and we're given its work function 3.68 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. Now we want to figure, figure out the longest wavelength in nanometers that will eject electrons from potassium metal. So how do we do this? Okay, so I'm going to start by writing down our equation Okay, so this is the kinetic energy of the ejected electrons, and it's going to be equal to E photon. Okay, so that's the energy of our photon minus the work function. And remember, if the energy of our photon is larger than the work function, then electrons will be ejected. Okay, now in this case, we actually also want the threshold wavelength, so I'm going to go ahead and plug that in for E photon. Okay. Alright, so now, again, we want the wavelength that is, that's longest that will still eject electrons. So the least energetic photon that will eject electrons. So how do we do that? Okay, so let's think about the kinetic energy of the ejected electrons. Alright, and we want it to be as low as possible. So in order to find the threshold, what we're actually going to do is set that kinetic energy equal to zero. So Basically, we've put in just enough energy to overcome the work function, but the electrons don't have any kinetic energy. And that's how we find the threshold wavelength, or alternatively, the threshold frequency. We would use the same procedure. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to start writing the equation. So we have 0 is equal to hc over lambda naught, because I'm that's the threshold, minus the work function, okay? Let's go ahead and re -re rearrange this guy, okay? So I'm going to put the work function on this side, so I'm going to add it to both sides, and then I'm going to end up with hc over lambda naught, okay? And if I multiply both sides by lambda naught and divide out the work function, okay, so I'll do that in orange, okay, so lambda naught, our threshold wavelength. Okay, that gets rid of these guys. We're going to divide by the work function. Okay, so if we rewrite that where it's not so messy, then we're going to end up with lambda naught is equal to hc over the threshold, the work, uh, the work function. Okay? All right, so let's go ahead and plug everything in. So remember, H is Planck's constant, so H is 6.626 times 10 to negative 34 joule seconds. And C is the speed of light, 2.998 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Okay, so let's plug those guys in. 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds and multiply that by 2.998 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Okay, kind of squeeze it in there. All right, and let's put that over the work function, which if we go up and look in our problem, we're going to see that it's 3.68 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. All right, so let's put that in. 3.68 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. Okay. So now let's go ahead and cancel things out so we can cancel out joules right there, okay? We can, cal we can cancel out seconds, see, because seconds in the denominator on the speed of light, seconds in the numerator in Planck's constant, and that leaves us with only meters, all right? And that's promising because we're calculating a wavelength, okay? So let's go ahead and run the numbers on this. So when we multiply hc and divide it by the work function, we're going to get 5.398 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. Okay, and now I'm going to go to the next slide and then we'll convert that to nanometers 
and then just talk about it a little bit. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna rewrite this on the next slide. Okay. So here's our threshold wavelength that we just calculated, and it is 5.398 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. Okay. So let's go ahead and round that right now actually. So we have three sig figs, so we would round this to four zero, so it's five point four zero times ten to the negative seven meters. Okay. Converting. I guess I'll do that on the next line. So let's convert. So five point four zero times ten to the negative seven meters. And we have one meter is 10 to the 9 nanometers. And we're going to end up with 540 nanometers. Okay? So that's the longest wavelength of light that will eject electrons from potassium metal. All right? So that means that a wavelength equal to 541 nanometers will not eject electrons. Okay? but 539 will. That's just barely energetic enough. And so basically, this gives us a way to, to choose a lamp that will actually eject electrons in our experiment.